Let's analyze the resonance contributors from the mini lecture for lesson 7 to see how we could show resonance contributors in ACE. This is the way a typical resonance problem is represented in ACE. To begin, we could use our sketcher window to get a more clear representation of our problem. By going to View, Sketcher Window, a new window is generated, and after I expand this window, I can use the Auto Scale tool to get a more clear representation of this problem. In box 1, you will always be asked to supply only electron flow arrows, so do not modify the structure of the compounds in box 1, rather provide only electron flow arrows. To do this in ACE, we have to use our 2 electron arrow tool, which can be found here. Be very careful when you select this 2 electron arrow tool, because if you click the 1 electron arrow tool, ACE will not be able to interpret your electron flow arrows. By clicking on this 2 electron arrow tool, I can begin this problem just as we saw in the mini lecture for lesson 7, and show the base of my first arrow coming from the non-bonding electron lone pair on oxygen. By hovering over this oxygen atom, notice that the circle is around only this oxygen atom. I could click once to show the base of the arrow coming from this non-bonding lone pair, and to show formation of the double bond between carbon and oxygen, I have to be sure that both the carbon and oxygen are in parentheses as we see here. So notice, if I show something like this, where the head of the arrow is only going towards the circle carbon atom, this would be incorrect. To show generation of my double bond, I have to make sure that the carbon and oxygen are in parentheses. I could click once, and I could see that my arrow has been generated. To generate my second electron flow arrow, since these pushable electrons are coming from my pi bond, I have to make sure that parentheses are around this double bond, rather than having a circle around one of the individual carbon atoms that are involved in the pi bond. With my parentheses around this double bond, I could click once, and since I know a new double bond will form here, just like for the previous arrow, I have to be sure that my parentheses are surrounding the two atoms in which I would like the double bond to form in between, and by clicking again, I could see that my arrow is generated. Rather than draw the missing structure in box 2, there's a much easier way to transfer your resonance contributors from box to box. By using the select tool, I can double click on any atom in my structure, automatically highlighting my entire structure without highlighting my electron flow arrows. I can use my ACE hotkeys by using Apple C on a Mac or control C on a PC to copy my structure. Notice, if I select my molecule once again, I can also use the copy tool already located within ACE. Now I'm ready to paste my structure, so I could either use the paste tool, or I could use my hotkeys, which is Apple V, control V on a PC. I could click once and generate my structure in box 2. Now I have to modify the structure since the structure in box 2 is not the same structure as we see in box 1. I could do this by using my bonding tool. After I click on my bonding tool, I have to show a formation of the double bond between the carbon and oxygen, so I could put my parentheses around the carbon and oxygen and click once. I lost the double bond that we see here, so I could click once there to generate the single bond. And finally, a double bond forms between these two carbon atoms seen here. The last thing I need to do is to add and take away formal charge. I have two options for doing this. I could either use the tools already provided in ACE. So if I clicked on the decrease charge button, and then clicked once on my carbocation, we could see that it's now neutral. Or if I simply hover over my oxygen atom and then type shift and plus, we could see that I generated my oxygen cation here. With this done, a cool feature about the sketcher window is that even if I X out the sketcher window and then click on the auto scale button in my original Marvin sketch window, we can see that the changes I made in the sketcher window were automatically saved in the Marvin sketch window. And finally, if everything you've provided for the resonance problems you will encounter in ACE is correct, I could click submit response and generate some cool, correct feedback.